How's it going, YouTube? And welcome back to My Comic Life. Now, My Comic Life is a comic vlog that comes out Monday through Friday. So if you like what you see here and like to hear someone talk about comics on the daily, go hit that subscribe button. Today is New Comic Book Day. And also, I want to mention that I am going to be doing a giveaway this whole entire week. And all you have to do to be in the running to uh, either get one of three books of your choice, Gunning for Hits, issue number one. And all these are going to be sent to you, or it will be sent to you digitally on Comic Cons. Gunning for Hits, issue number one. Middle West, issue number one. Or, my one of my favorites, Aunt Agatha's Home for Waver Rabbits, issue number one. So if you want to get in the running for that, this is how you do it. You be a subscriber, hit the thumbs up, and leave me a comment down below and let me know what books you picked up and you're most excited for this week. Now, yesterday, or on Monday, I went and picked up my comic books for the week. Uh, unlike most people or all the lucky people, I, I work a lot of hours. And I'm not able to go to my comic book shop on Wednesday, every single Wednesday, every single day of the week. So, I went on Monday, picked up these um, books that came out last week. And all these are independent books, ex or independent publishers, except for two Marvel. Uh, Obey Me, issue number zero, which is based off a comic book, or a video game that's coming out, and they put out this comic book, and I definitely tell you, I've already read this one, and I was so disappointed. Definitely won't be picking up issue number, um, ish the next issue. But you'll find out why when I review it in my next video. But, you know, when you're like me, and I pick up about 22 books a week between my discount comic book service books that I get out at the end of the month, uh, my Marvel and DC comic book store that's closing, which sadly, um, and my comic shop that I get all my day one uh, independent books from. So I'm about 22 books out of the week, and a lot of times with having so many books, you definitely do hit some clunkers. Uh, Six Million Dollar Man, issue number one by Dynamite, a new number one by Dynamite, and I, I don't know if this is the first time they've had this license for this character. But it's a it's based off of a television show, I think, in the 80s. <coughs> and we have this man who's bionic. And the book, I've already read it, but it makes a lot of point to say, I'm the bionic man. Here's my powers. And so if you were a um, fan of the television show, fan of some um, stuff that does seem a little bit corny at times, I think the $6 million man is going to be your jam. Uh, Astro Hustle by Dark Horse Comics, issue number one. Uh, I love this cover. This cover reminds me of something you would see out of an uh, exploitation movie from the 1960s. And definitely this book is feels like from that era. It's a four-issue miniseries. Um, if you like um, exploitation type of films or exploitation type of comics... This book is for you, especially at the beginning when it starts off with these women and they're you know, making love to each other and then these dudes come in. It seems like it's about to be a very much a sex exploitation film and then Mayhem pursues and then you got a um, pirate movie, you got a break out of prison movie. There's so much different things, different tones in this book <coughs> that it can be a little bit of a turn off at times, but the the it's definitely it's going balls to the wall and making itself saying i know what i am i'm going to be that red sonia issue number two by dynamite comics this issue which i'm going to review in my next video it is awesome uh, red sonia is doing everything that i wanted conan to do in the new marvel um in his new marvel run everything i wanted from that everything i heard that conan could be I am getting it in Red Sonja. Red Sonja is such a badass in this book. We have her who, in the first issue, she um, went to this, her almost like her homeland, and we find out that there, there's this empire that's coming in to her homeland. So she goes there kind of protect it, whatnot. <coughs> and the king, or in the uh, people that run that land, tell her, you're going to be our princess. And then they bolt off and leave and then the emperor's um voice comes to them saying hey you our emperor's coming and either you get it in the line with us or we'll run you over and of course she says no i'm not going to give up 
and this issue right here is everything you wanted from Conan that you weren't getting, you will get here. One of the, my favorite series, Die, issue number four. Um, issue number three blew me away. We have the story of these kids. They're playing this um, board game. They go and they get sucked into the board game, just like in something like Jumanji. And then years later, they get sucked out, except one of their party members is still stuck in there. So they live their life to their um, mid-40s, and then all of a sudden they get a message from their fallen member, or the person that was stuck in the uh, game of die. So now they've gone back in, and it is just a magnificent book. The art in here is brilliant. The writing in here just feels really strong. And at the end of every single issue, you get about four pages of the um, writer, uh, Kerry Gillen, explaining the book and what he wants to do with the board game that will be based on the book. So there's a lot of really good stuff here. Um, if you haven't gone on board yet, I think in a couple months we will be getting a um, the trade paperback of the series which i would recommend everyone get and this is <clears throat> definitely a series that i'm going to go and pick up all the covers because the covers are just gorgeous um one of my favorite books from last month the girl in the bay issue number two the girl in the bay takes place in the 1960s we have this girl who is very self-destructive uh she has gone and done a lot of drugs um She's very self-destructive. She does acid. She goes to this party. And she has such a bad experience with the acid that she has to go out. And she's walking around the bay. She meets this guy. They kick it off really well. And then the guy kills her and throws her into the bay. And then this goddess creature, whoever knows what she has to do with the thing, she re almost like revives her. She pops up out of the water thinking that it's still in the 1960s to kind of find out it is today and then she's confronted by her older self so it's a good book really good book uh, I think it's a five issue mini series or four no four issues so we're on the halfway point with issue number two and uh, J.M. Dematis and Corin Hal oh just some excellent book like that first issue just really blew me away and <clears throat> with a um with a hook like her becoming back into the 19 uh or back into today it could have been a very much a cliche type of story but it doesn't feel that way self-made issue number uh four this is about an artificial intelligence or a computer gamer or a computer um studio a gamer studio they went and this one gal created an actual artificial intelligence and so the last couple issues that's been them testing out this artificial intelligence and now the game um, designers or the um, publisher wants to destroy this creation so it's up to the creator to help um, save the her her creation and it's been a really intriguing book not the best book but definitely has been hitting the marks for me personally and I, I do think that the thing about the book that I has been a negative has been the um the quote-unquote bad guys of the story because sometimes they can be a little bit twirling on the mustache and a little bit too much on the nose vindication issue number two police procedural i don't know if i'm really going to continue on with it uh issue number one i really cannot remember when it was <laughs> <coughs> what it was about but you know hey not every single book can be excellent the Dreaming, issue number um, seven. I, I really, I, this has been one of my favorite series that's been going on in comics. The art in here is absolutely breathtaking. Um, sadly, though, I haven't picked up issue number, or I haven't read issue number six. So I really need to get on that. And then my two Marvels, Cosmic Ghost Rider uh, destroys Marvel history. I've already read this and I reviewed it in my last episode um in here we have um cosmic ghost writer frank castle he goes 
to the past and he meets up and he interacts with his wife and his kids. Well, come to find out, the wife, he pretends to be the uncle and the wife's like, hey, can you watch my kids as I go off and um, take care of my daughter? So he's taking care of this young boy and when he's interacting with this boy, he's telling him about how he's caught some ghost writer shows him and the boy's like, yeah, which was so amazing. And then he goes and tells him about his adventures with the Fantastic Four. Who knows if it's true or not, <clears throat> but it's more Cosmic Ghost Rider, and Cosmic Ghost Rider is just such an awesome new character. It's interesting to see this is, I think, the first time Cosmic Ghost Rider has been written by somebody else besides Donny Gates, and at times the voice of Cosmic Ghost Rider feels a lot like um, Deadpool, which is a really negative, but there's definitely some heart into that series. Uh, Meet the Scrolls, issue number one. This is also a book that I reviewed in my last episode. Um, Meet the Scrolls, I really went into it hoping that it would be a family drama slash comedy about these scrolls that want to be stuck on Earth and that they're trying to acclimate themselves into human life. And we get that for a little bit, especially with this one girl who all she knows is Earth and all she knows is Earth culture. And she really wants just to be an earthling just you know not to have to deal with all the taking over of of the planet uh but of course her family are there to do some espionage work um it's it's okay it's definitely a premise that i'm like oh i really like this it feels like something fresh and new i'm just hoping that it goes more for the family drama instead of the status quo for um the scrolls Ronin Island, issue number one, a new number one from Boom Studios by Greg Peck and Giannis Milagronis. I forgot how long that name is. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to pronounce it. Anyways, in here we got the story of this island where we have a very mixed race of different Asian cultures. We have Koreans, we have Japanese, we have Chinese, all these different war-torn areas these people have come to this island and they have learned to cultivate and learn how to live together and they basically have now announced themselves as islanders not as anything else besides the island that they live on and they have tasked these two kids to find out which one of them is going to be their protector of this island uh, a lot of this issue has to take place with this race that goes on between these two it's very much fun and family friendly until the Shogun comes and tells them about this uh, battle that's coming to their uh, island. So, the issue number two, I think, is going to be a little bit more or less, fam or less um, kiddish <coughs> and more of the action. Um, and then I got William, um, the last fight or flight. I really enjoyed issue number one of the first mini series, and so I was like, "All right, I'll pick up the next one." And I have to go and pick up issue number two and three because the issue number two and three did not come to my comic book shop, so I am behind five issues, and then I'll be able to pick up that um, series. So that was it for the comics that I picked up this week. Uh, my next video, I'll do some more comic reviews. Uh, talk about like a lot of the new series that happened in this bunch like all the uh, obey me uh six million dollar man and whatnot so what did you guys pick up this week let me know down below as always people it's new comic book day it's the best day out of the week and on saturday when i go and i'm close to uh, olympia which is 30 minutes away from me i will then be able to pick up this week's comics all right people let me know what you got guys got down below and always i'll see you guys next time